So it's Sunday, 4th of May. Your Fire TV has just received the latest update. And once again, you are just inundated with adverts, large home screen sponsored content, just so many promoted applications and just a really messy, cluttered home screen. Is there anything I can do today to fix this? Well, as you can see on my third generation Fire TV Cube running the latest update, I can press one button on my remote control and I'm instantly taken to a custom launcher where I don't see any more Amazon adverts. I don't see any more sponsored content. I don't see any promoted applications. I can fully customize the home screen. I can use a custom background and really just get my home screen looking exactly how I like it without Amazon trying to force adverts down my throat. So in this video today, let me show you how you can follow this process, which still works as of May 2025 doesn't require any manual typing, any manual commands, just a couple of clicks and you can go ahead and take control of your home screen once again. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Now to get this process working on all of your Amazon Fire TV devices running the latest update, you need to have two things. The first one is a custom remote control, which has two customizable keys. As you can see today, you can pick one of these up for around about 10 pounds. That's the exact one that I'm using right now. You can see it does have some media keys, but most importantly it has these buttons one and two, which can be remapped to any function or any application on your device. The only thing is the application has to be installed from the Amazon App Store. So it can't be your third party applications or your side loaded applications. It has to be something from the Amazon App Store. So pick one of these up and add that to your device. Once you've done that, the other thing you need is this application here, which is called App Opener, which is available directly on the Amazon App Store. Now, if I go to more info, I believe this cost about, I think, one dollar or 80p so super super cheap but the key thing this application allows you to do is to launch your favorite side loaded application now before we use app opener we do have to install a custom launcher the easiest way we can get one of those is you just go over to my website which is just techdoctoruk.com or you can also type in the short code which is 53402 type that in and click on go and that will take you directly to my website now when you get to my site if you head over to the hamburger menu which is one of the three lines click on that Click on tutorials and the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can get these custom launchers, custom launchers working again on all of your Amazon devices. So install whichever one you want to use. Once you've done that, let's now press the home button. Now, before we continue, let me just quickly share this QR code that if you are looking for a fantastic offer for a ridiculously fast VPN, stay safe online, change your IP address, access geolocked content, protect your privacy, you definitely want to go ahead and scan this QR code for a superb discount. And let's now open up App Opener for the first time. It will basically do a quick scan of all of the applications on your device and it will ask you then which application do you want to launch the next time App Opener is launched. So here you want to go ahead and select your custom launcher. You can even select your favorite third party streaming application, which again can then be launched by pressing one of the two custom keys. But this example, I'm going to use a custom launcher called F Launcher. And I will show you a place on my website where you can get all of these custom launchers installed. So I'm now going to press select. It's now telling you that the next time you launch this application, it will launch the F launcher for you. Let's press back, back again. Now you can see guys when I go over to app opener, if I press select on that now, it takes me straight to the F launcher, which is a great custom launcher with all those customization features like changing your background, creating custom sections, hiding applications, changing the tile size, all of that's available in this free launcher. And that works great. So now that we're launching this application with App Opener, how do we now bind these two custom buttons so they launch this application for us? Well, if I now press home, and what you now want to do is either long press button one or button two, whichever button you want to launch the custom launcher. I mean, for a quick test first, let me hold down button one. If I hold that down, so one, two, three, I'm holding it down and I should now get a prompt asking me, what do you want to do with this button? So I can make it run an A word command or I can go to your applications 
and I can now choose any of these applications to launch the next time I press the, the one button. So in this example, let's say I want to launch this explore file manager. Let's press the select button on that. That's now all set. So the next time I press button one, ready, steady, go. It instantly takes me to the file manager. So super easy to set up and you can go ahead and launch any application that you want. So let's now actually set button two to be our custom launching button. So again, hold down button two for a few seconds. So one, two, three, four, here we go. I can now go to your applications. And this is now where we will select app opener. And this means the next time I press button two, it should open up app opener for us. And as you know, app opener now will automatically open up F launcher or really any application that you like, any third party application will then automatically be launched. So let's press the select button now. That's now been set. So now the next time I press button two, ready, steady, go. We are instantly taken into our custom launcher. And from here, obviously guys, if I now open up something like open up Crackle TV, I can start the application, get the message like that. That's fine. I can now press button two again. And I'm once again taken back to the custom launcher. So I don't need to see any of that home screen Amazon mess. If I open up downloader, launch is fine. Again, I mean, you could even press back a few times. Back again, and you will stay inside that custom launcher. So really, if you are looking for the easiest way to use custom launchers on your Amazon device, even with the very latest update, this method still works. And as Amazon are selling these official pro remote controls, I mean, not this one, the official one, which cost about 30 or 40 pounds. And as that also has the two customizable buttons, I don't think Amazon will ever block this feature. So if you are looking for the easiest way, I do think this method is the best one available or working right now. And also just to mention that if you are looking for the best way to stay safe online, how you can really just cover or hide your online digital fingerprint, which is your IP address, the best way to do that is to use a VPN because when you activate a VPN, you're now no longer using your own IP address, using an IP address from one of the thousands that your VPN provider gives you. Right now, there's a super special offer where you can get total protection for all of your devices, all of your applications, your add-ons, your APKs, your streaming apps, all of them can be covered with the VPN. And they also give you unlimited connections. What that means is it doesn't matter if you've got three Fire Sticks, 10 Android TVs, two laptops, all of those devices, unlimited devices, will be covered with a single license. You get blazing fast speeds, so zero buffering, and they also have a verified no logs policy. So they're not logging anything, they're not monitoring anything. You really can stay anonymous whilst using this VPN. You can access all of your favorite applications, your Netflixes, your BBC iPlayers, your Hulus. All of your streaming applications can be unlocked by using this VPN. And to get all of that for just over $2 a month, I do think this special offer is definitely worthwhile checking out. Using my link does help support the channel. So many thanks for doing that. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.